All right, now that things are warming up, one spot on the North Shore could quickly become the place we here at PTL sneak away to, you know, just for research of sake. Of course, yeah, we're talking about shorties, and they're already responsible for adding a new word to our vocabulary, retro Tainment. Yeah, Daisy Jade is checking it out this morning. So, Daisy, tell us what exactly is retrotainment? What's that mean? <laughs> Yeah, that actually is a word. Well, at least around here it is, but I have someone that's going to explain a little bit more about that in just a moment. But yes, I'm here at Shorty's Pins and Pints on the North Shore. I'm here with the boss man, Craig Winning. Now, Craig, first of all, your last name. I would hope that you win a lot around here. <laughs> well, I definitely try my best. Yeah, there's a lot of games and fun stuff. So what exactly is retrotainment? Retrotainment is our, our hat nods to just some old school gaming, the kind of games that um, your gra grandparents would probably have played, that something is just a little throwback to bygone era of, uh, of just some good old fashioned backyard games. Yeah, and I see that you have like duck pin bowling, you've got some video games here, pinball machines, fun stuff, right? Yeah, it's a, it's a full... Uh <laughs> a full plethora of games, something for everybody. The duck pin is obviously our biggest draw, um, but if you want to move outside, we have some bocce and some, um, some cornhole, maybe some giant Jenga to knock down whilst you're slinging some drinks. Yeah, and speaking of food and drinks, I mean, you have some amazing looking food here. Please tell us about it. Well, thank you. We wanted to sh show off um, a whole range of what we do. Um, so on our baller platter here, you get a huge selection of each one of our tacos from Brussels oh. sprouts and sweet potato to chicken tinga. Um, and our signature item is al pastor, which is uh, carved off a rotating spit mm -hmm. and then a couple of our dips. Nice. And then this is my favorite dish of all, uh, pizza box and nachos. Everything's all layered together. You have, you have a, a little bit of something on every single chip. How fun is that? And I know that we have video you guys actually make this food outside in this super cute taco stand that's a salvaged um, shipping container. Yeah, we managed to find this container in San Antonio. And, and how did you acquire that? Um, we just came across it, had a great idea of, um, of having something outside. It really gives us that inside-outside feel that gives us um, a chance to feel a little bit like a, um, a food truck but it has the full functionality of a commercial kitchen. Yeah, and I love this outdoor space. I mean, we can see KDK Studios from here. What a great view. This is amazing. And I you have cornhole and all kinds of fun stuff out here. Yeah, Let's perfect. see if I can make it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> perfect for that summer, summer relaxation, getting some couple of patio pounders, great view of the rivers. Um, it really is a, is a neat spot for the summer. All right, that was a little too short. I'm going to do one more. Now, how, when did you guys open? Uh, we opened three weeks ago, so oh. we're now going into our, into our fourth week. Um, so far, all our guests have been super responsive to what we've been doing, um, some great reviews, and hey, we're, we've been having some fun with it. Well, I love the fact that you have three fire pits out here. I mean, this is probably going to be the spot to hang out with or hang out in the summertime. Yeah, it's, there's nothing better than sitting by a campfire. Um, got these beautiful Adirondack chairs, um, and then, hey, when you're sitting down and uh, chatting with some friends and meeting old new friends as well. Or better than having a couple of drinks that, yeah. we, that we've created for you. Enjoying these. Now, is this your signature, the, the ducky drink? This is. <laughs> it's probably our most photographed drink right now. Um, it's a Rock Me Baby, um, just a nice passion fruit martini. Um, and then we have our take on a coconut margarita over here, which is La Flama Blanca. Wow, sounds amazing. Well, Craig, thank you so much for showing us around. And I mean, gosh, like I feel, I feel like this is a great time to just enjoy you know, the the old times when we used to have just a lot of fun, no screen time, you know, just being able to connect with friends. This place is amazing. So thank you for showing us. Pleasure. Thank you. All right. And I hope you guys come and check it out. Back to you guys at the studio. You know, cheers. I Cheers, cheers Daisy. Daisy. Yeah, I love a good fire pit. I feel like it inspires such like intelligent conversation. Like I feel like smarter than what I really am. Anytime I'm I sitting feel around, very a, smart. I don't no, know, you're very smart. Sometimes. I, you know what? And that drink. I love the drink. The passion <laughs> fruit with cocktail the with the little duck floating in it. You like that? Genius. Yeah. We got to check that place out. And according to the National Duck Pin Bowling Congress. And yes, that's an <laughs> actual thing. Regulation duck pin bowling is played in just nine states, so it's pretty cool that Pennsylvania is one of them. Yeah, that is really cool.